I think portable monitors are cool, man. I mean, a lot of different uses for them and something like this, hey, look at that. No wires, dude, but is it worth a damn? So this company, Magic Block MK1, they, they sent this to me for purpose of review. They currently have an Indiegogo going on for this thing that ends in like a week and a half. I just received this the other day, so I don't know what's going on, but they only got like six backers and always, regardless what I say of this thing, if you think it's the most awesome thing in the world or you think it's a piece of garbage, <laughs> I'll give you my opinion in a minute. Uh, but crowdfunding campaigns, back at your own risk. I don't give a crap who the company is. Be prepared to not get what you put your money in for, but hope for the best. I mean, just the way it goes. I can't guarantee you're gonna get anything, so just gotta put that out there. So I remember looking at something very similar to this in the past, uh, and it didn't really work very well for me. And it was like, okay, my rece the receiver, the transmitter, literally, a foot away from one another. I forget what the product was called, but it just didn't work very well for me. And this one, right now, like you could plug, you could use this with anything. Any HDMI device. Right now I got an NES Classic right here. I have my uh, Mega SG little analog. I'll plug that in, in a moment. So this thing you could wirelessly transmit the HDMI signal. Comes with this little transmitter. It does have to be powered. Doesn't work without it being powered. So you're gonna be tethered to cables some way, you know, one way or another. Uh, it comes with like HDMI cables, the transmitter, the re the transmitter receiver, that kind of thing. This got this is the uh, receiver. Got to be plugged into the top. Comes with multiple cables, HDMI cable, that kind of thing. This has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery built into it. Got some speaker action in the bottom, quarter inch uh, threaded thing down there, so you can mount this little fella. Some uh, lights for battery life, 6,000 milliamp hour battery life. You could charge it up. You know whatever you need to do. A bunch of buttons on the top. No idea what they all do. I mean, I kind of know what they do. I think this is the power button, the first one. Like they're not labeled and I didn't get an instruction manual. So excuse me, all right? So power, uh, I think to switch to the source is the second button. The third one is like a brightness adjustment. Like, and it's only like two adjustments, I think, two or three. Yeah, it's a few, there's like three maybe. And then the uh, the final two are just volume. And that's it. And then you got headphone jack, HDMI right there. And on the, oh, oh wow. You got the light blinking up there, I could see it. Bam. On the sides, uh, you have you have a Nintendo Switch Joy-Con rails. Kind of stupid, but they do sell these with, uh, if you want, like different controllers that attach to that. So that may be useful depending on what you want to use this for. I wouldn't use this to put Nintendo Switch controllers on it and then play my Switch that way. That's kind of lame, but you can. I don't know why this one's all scuffed up. Maybe it's a pre-production unit. Not sure, but let's just test this thing out because holy crap, man. Like, <laughs> I, I literally have the receiver right here or the transmitter receiver. They're right next to each other. Let's try this out. You use this with your PS5, your Nintendo Switch, your Xbox your mom's vibe, whatever you got that has HDMI, go for it, dude. So let's let's try this out. Like, I said, like literally 10 inches apart from one another. Let's check this thing out. So it's only like, it's like $100, eight inch uh, wireless screen. I'm kind of losing track here of uh, the information, just kind of sharing it with you there. Uh, but there's all the info, 1280 by 720p resolution, 60 Hertz refresh, all that good stuff. About a hundred bucks, unless you want to get controllers with it and it's a little more. They say that once the crowdfunding campaign's over, they're gonna ship these in like two to three weeks. So to me, that sounds like they already have them manufactured and made. So why go to crowdfunding? I, I don't know, you only got six backers, but let's see, okay, Super Mario, I'm, I understand NES Classic is uh, emulation and some people, they can't get used to emulation. I'm fine with it as far as latency, no issues adjusting to to me, what's a very small amount of latency that emulation winds up having, not an issue for me, but something like this, man. I was just playing, uh, this is the only game I played and I was like, oh my God. So let, let's let's try. Oh, <laughs> when you die, I'm not even, I did not do that on purpose. That's embarrassing, dude. When you die from the first freaking Goomba, you gotta, you gotta reevaluate your life choices, man. 
because that was not good. I'm trying to zoom up as best I can so you can uh, see, but like the screen starts getting wavy. Did you see the waviness? Like, okay, I was a little better prepared that time to not get killed by the Goomba. Oh my God. Like, let me try to get my mic a little closer. The audio is delayed. Latency feels freaking god awful, dude. <sighs> like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand. I mean, I do understand it. It's a cheap solution and you get what you pay for, but they say it's ultra low latency. What the hell do they mean by that? Oh my god. Let me, let me try to have my controller, like, if you could see my controller inputs at the same time. Do you see the waviness in the screen? Like, that's not an enjoyable experience. So I think you could just plug in through HDMI. Oh my God, let's, let's go. You could plug in through HDMI and use it that way. It's got a built-in battery. So yeah, you, you know, if you got a, let me pause it. Let, you hear how long it took for the pause? Do -do 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 fucking thing to, to go. But like, I'm using a, a battery bank thingy to power the, uh, the transmitter and the, you know, NES Classic. So, I mean, yeah, that's cool. The monitor's wireless. So like, you know, it's got, it's got a battery built in is what I'm, what I'm saying. So you could bring this out there. I wouldn't, why would you want to play like PS5 on this? Oh my God, you see the waviness, the jittery? Can you see the jitter? It's, I, I want to call it shitter, but um, it, it sucks, dude, it sucks. Let me try plugging an HDMI straight into this thing. Cause you could do that as well. What the hell's the HDMI cable? I think one came in this box. I'm assuming latency is going to be a hell of a lot better now. Yeah. And visuals. Visuals seem a bit better. It still feels like latency wise is not as good as when I play this on my normal monitor or TV. It still doesn't feel great, but it does feel a lot better than when I was playing this wirelessly. But there, you you, you know, if you don't want to use this wirelessly, you could use it wired. But the selling point is that it's wireless. Let's try the Sega Genesis or the Mega SG, I mean. It says no signal, but we got the signal from the Mega SG, so I don't know what the hell is going on. Did the no signal thing go away? It did. Oh no, it's still there. Damn it! And the audio's muffled because the speakers are underneath. The latency is freaking bad, dude. So would I recommend this thing to anybody? No. Like, if, uh, I, I personally wouldn't. Like the price isn't bad if this actually worked really well. Maybe my atmosphere here, maybe the aliens are like blocking my signals or something. I don't freaking know, dude, but this shit is literally inches away from one another and it sucks freaking donkey balls, man. So for me, and this no signal sign here, um, I, I, can't, I can't recommend a product like this. It's just, it's just the way it is. Uh, maybe it'll work for you, but based on my observations here, it ain't working for me. So how could I recommend it? Like, I mean, if physically it works, like kinda, but it just sucks. So yeah, maybe that's why there's only six backers on this Indiegogo. Look at the waviness. Appreciate you guys watching. Bye.